in the den with the TRU Wolfpack. So it all comes down to this, the final weekend of the season to decide who's in and who's not in Canada West Soccer. Looks good for one Wolfpack team, maybe not so good for the other one. The men close out with a home and home against UBC Okanagan and they control their own destiny. So it, uh, let's have a look at the standings here as they uh, control their own destiny in, in a situation that comes down not, not to points but to uh, percentage, win percentage. That's because some teams are playing 15 games, others are playing 16. So the Wolfpack are on the verge of clinching their first playoff in five years in Canada West. TRU will finish out the season against UBC Okanagan tonight in Kelowna, Saturday at Hillside. One win they're in, and the Wolfpack could also finish as high as second place, and that would mean hosting a playoff game next week. So for that to happen, TRU would have to sweep both games against UBCO, and second place Trinity would have to lose twice against UBC and Victoria. A tougher challenge for the women to get in. TRU is closing out the regular season at home this weekend against conference rival UNBC on Saturday, which currently holds the final playoff by one point over the Wolfpack. And then uh, TRU will finish out the season Sunday against McEwen, which has locked up its postseason berth. And volleyball kicks off its new Canada West season on the weekend with the Wolfpack women and men both playing at home. TRU will play two games against the McEwen Griffins from Edmonton. For Coach Chad Grimm and the Wolfpack women, this season is life after Yulia. Yulia Pakamenko, their star player the last three years, played out her eligibility last season. Anytime you lose the best player in the league, it makes your team different. So how do you replace that? Not with just one player, says Grim. I like the depth of our group, actually. We're, we're going to be more balanced. Uh, we have to be more balanced if we want to be successful. That said, it's possible that Grim has another Hayulia Pakamenko in his mix. He's dipped into the Ukrainian talent pool to add two more first-year players. One of them, six foot four outside hitter, Yevgenia Nyakolova. She goes by Jane. I played 10 years ago with one really good player. Yulia Pakomenko, you know her. Yulia uh, basically took care of that whole heads up, took care of that whole thing. Uh, and then Anastasia, the other girl, was uh, a friend of mine, and Nathan's uh, Nathan played with on the British national team. He was coaching her in Azerbaijan, uh, but her parents live in Edmonton, so she's a, a permanent resident of Canada. Nyakolova, that's Jane, has a wealth of international experience, having played in Switzerland, France, the Philippines, and Finland. This university, it's like full of international students and that's kind of nice experience and they have a really good English school that's make life easier. And what about a comparison between Jane and Ayulia? Everybody asks me, uh, what do you think you're better or not? And I think this, this is the worst question that a volleyball player can hear from someone. Just like, who is better, you or, I don't know, Usain Bolt running, you know, right? It's like, there is no sense because Yulia is Yulia. Like, I'm Jane. She can score points and she's a big body and she'll bring a different dynamic as far as uh, she's more vocal and more kind of uh, cheering as well. Uh, so uh, that's a different personality than, than you have. The big news out of the men's camp is the return of head coach Pat Henley. After a year off to pursue his master's degree, shed 40 pounds and recharge the coaching batteries. You know, I think it was good for everyone. There. Some of the older guys got a chance to see a different perspective from coaching, and uh, I think we all feel refreshed and ready to go this year. Henley made some key off-season signings, and like his counterpart on the Wolfpack women's team, he dipped into the international pool, signing six foot nine outside hitter Tim Daubert from Germany. Daubert joins the Wolfpack after two years in NCAA Division I with Brigham Young University in Utah. Had he stayed there, Daubert would have only had one year of eligibility remaining. Coming to the Wolfpack, he'll get two more seasons. Going to Canada was my first choice. and I didn't really know which school I wanted to go to, and so I, I contacted a few other coaches too. But um, yeah, I, I talked to Pat a lot, and he wanted me. I like the program. He brings experience and, and also just a sense of calmness on the court. Uh, he's, he's been in the NCAA Final Four Championships for volleyball and, uh, you know, three full years of playing down there. He, I think he's in a situation where he doesn't look at any one team or any one player across the net as, as someone to fear or be worried about. And that calmness sort of spreads throughout the team. And, you know, he's backed that up with a great level of play in the preseason. If the preseason is any indication, Henley feels the Wolfpack will be in for a big turnaround from last season's 2-22 record. 
probably the, the tallest team we've ever had in this program's history. So we've got the, the big bodies to be able to do it, and we've really been working on the skills to, to match up with that. So I think we're one of the biggest teams in Canada West this year. Watch In The Den, Monday and Thursday on the Evening News. Looking for affordable family entertainment? Enjoy a Wolfpack game and support our future Olympians and leaders of tomorrow. Check out the Wolfpack website for schedules, scores, and news. And catch more TRU Wolfpack on In The Den. Back the Pack with TRU.